now return to Iron on Modern Marvels. As NASA's Mars lander, the Phoenix began searching for signs of water on the red planet in May 2008. A different treasure was right at its feet. Mars is covered with rust. Mars is known as the red planet because of the iron oxides present in the Martian soil. There's probably billions of tons of iron on Mars that would satisfy civilization for hundreds of years, if not thousands of years. While the Earth's crust is less than 5% iron, the crust of Mars contains 14%. This vast resource beckons the futurists, including researchers affiliated with a space commerce company, Four Frontiers. They're studying ways to mine beyond Earth. Four Frontiers got its name from Earth, asteroids, Moon, and Mars. And the four of these makes our Four Frontiers. My role as a geologist is to uh, find enough minerals for us to have a society to live on. Some estimate that within the next 50 years, human colonies may be established on Mars, where mining would be a breeze compared to the process on Earth. On Earth, for us to get to the iron, we have to create these gigantic open pits that you see in front of us, where they go down hundreds of feet just to get to the iron, and they cover hundreds of square miles in the end. Whereas on Mars, all of the iron ore is sitting right on top of the surface, and although it covers hundreds of square miles, we don't have to dig down very deep, maybe about 18 inches, so that's a lot different than what you see in front of us here. The Martian surface may prove to be even more user-friendly than imagined. The pictures sent back from the Mars rover missions suggest that natural processes have already accomplished a key part of the mining. When the probe landed on the Mars surface and started roaming around, they started noticing all these little round pellets and they were wondering, what in the world is that? And they discovered that they was actually iron minerals. Scientists believe those pellets contain amounts of iron similar to the man-made pellets that need to be mined, crushed, and baked here on Earth. What's really good about the iron ore deposits on Mars is they're already in pellets. We don't have to go and manufacture these and mine them and make a little pellet. It's already there for mining and we can go ahead and put them in the blast furnace. Martian mining offers one further advantage over Earth. Gravity on Mars is about 38% of what it is on Earth, so everything is a lot lighter. We don't need the big heavy machinery because everything is on the surface. All we have to do is just scoop up the iron minerals and transport the iron minerals to our uh, community where we'll convert it into iron metal. The iron mine would be refined on Mars itself to help build the infrastructure of extraterrestrial colonies on Mars and beyond. Okay, now we're on Mars, we have to have a place to live, we have to have instruments, we have to have machines, and therefore we have to have iron. And it's way too expensive and way too heavy to bring that iron from Earth to Mars. So we want to find it on Mars and use it there. And, and once we start manufacturing the products, then we can take it in to the other heavenly bodies. This is like a way station for our expansion of our people into space. As rich as the treasure of iron on Mars is, the true mother load is on asteroids. Some scientists believe they're comprised of up to 98% iron. There's about four or five asteroids that we think are principally iron deposits. And these asteroids are so big that they actually have more iron than we've ever produced on planet Earth. Only time will tell if dreams of mining this essential metal in the heavens will come true. But even if our only source remains here on Earth, our need for iron promises to endure as long as we do. We'll always have iron. Iron will always be a central part of our lives. It's part of our structures. It's part of our motion. It's part of us. We'll never be without iron.